the main thing I have learned uh, through this field trip is uh, the fact that personal experience of people visiting communities uh, and how they are dealing with climate change and adaptation, the impact of it, explaining it, and the solutions that they are working towards climate change. Uh, so f seeing it in first hand was very important. It's a very interesting thing, and mainly for those who are engaged with, with, with adaptation. And in my point of view, one of the most important ones is the commitment of the community. Yeah, we can fund the donors, we can have a partnership with the government, but if the community are not committed and do something, everything we're doing will be to nothing. So what I've learned from this field trip of CBA is that the importance of the community, direct involvement of the community. So even though the CBO or the local NGO can do their some part, for the successfulness of the CBA, you still need have to get the community on hands of the project or program. And it's interesting for me to learn from the tree nursery, the, the afforestation activities. It, it's basically the community try to organizing themselves. They elect their board, trust, uh, the board of trustee, and they work on that. And the board of trustee because they they are being given authorities from their community. So there is a sense of giving back from the local, yeah, to pay back for the community. And I think that's the key if you want to involve the community to select the leaders or the key person directly from them. What I take from uh, the field trip was mainly uh, the aspect of monitoring and evaluating. Uh, so I have seen the projects within the community that's been done, but um, in the long term, like say doing evaluation in two years or three years and seeing the impact, and at the same time the success and the lessons learned, and as well as how the community have benefited from it. God bless you. God bless you too.